Now running the Weed Whacker on number seven plastic oil that we've made in the blessed plastic oil machine. The number sevens are the chips bags, the candy wrappers, old toothbrush, dental floss, um, the plastic wrapping that goes over bacon uh, and other foodstuffs, the plastic that covers your, uh, your ground beef. This is all that stuff that is considered unrecyclable. Up till now, we've been running the Weed Whacker on a plast oil that we've made from plastic number two, high density polyethylene or HDPE, mostly found in bottle caps, and milk jugs, and detergent jugs. That stuff is good and recyclable and also can be melted in a standard oven to make other objects with. It's a precious plastic. We've also used plastic number number uh, five, which is polypropylene, which is in bottle caps, some bottle caps also, and in a lot of things like dessert trays. We've uh, used polystyrene, which is number six, which is used in forks and knives and spoons, uh, plastic forks, knives and spoons, and in um, condiment cups for ketchup and mustard that you find in the fast food restaurants, and of course is used in styrofoam and in, um, in the more brittle uh, black plastic that they use to uh, uh, use as a food container. So that's a good plastic as well. We've also run it on LDPE, that is plastic number four, and that's low density polyethylene, which is plastic bags, stuff like supermarket and shopping bags. We did that earlier today. But this one is the real test for us because those other plastics I mentioned are valuable. They can be melted, they're thermoplastics, that's why they're called plastic. They can be remelted into new objects. This, however, the number sevens are the ones that <coughs> always end up in a landfill. And we don't want to do that. So we're seeing if it can be useful at all. It is smoky, it's not the best solution, but when you don't have any fuel, um, it's better than putting it in the ocean for sure, which is where most of it is ending up. It doesn't go to landfill. So this is exciting. You're now seeing a continuous run on number seven plastics. And uh, we'll keep reporting and seeing how well the Weed Whacker does. So for Solar Cities, the Rosebud Continuum, and the Patel College of Global Sustainability, I'm T.H. Colhane. This is Tom Camacho with our first successful run of a Weed Whacker on number seven plastics, those uh, chips bags with the Mylar. The Mylar, incidentally, doesn't become part of the plast oil. It is left behind in the plastic to oil machine as aluminum. That's an aluminized plastic, and that's what that shiny surface is in your bags. And that just remains behind as like an aluminum foil that we take out of the machine. So it's not that we have a problem turning it into oil, but it's a very dirty oil. It's very dark, and we wanted to see, will it work? And I guess it is. You want to fire that thing up one more time? Yep. And don't forget to wear your masks when you're in public.